It was a music school. Yeah. It was a former music school where Mary... Mary Cardwell. Cardwell was a black music teacher that taught music. And then she took her merry band of traveling music Negroes around. They did a recent documentary on this, um, the local PBS station, and it took until it aired for me to know this existed. It existed. Yep. Had no clue. I mean, it's good that it's still here, and they haven't torn it down, and at least it has a sign. I just worry from like, all the wear and tear of it, how long it may still be staying. Yeah, before it just falls down. Exactly. It was who? Mary Col uh, Mary Cardwell Dawson. Mary she was uh, the founding artistic director of the National Negro Opera, Co Opera Company. This was a house of like prolific jazz artists, celebrities, and Negroes. Negroes. Prolific Negroes. Prolific American Negroes. Who came here? Um, I think like even big time like black gangsters around pittsburgh were around here nice so the house fell into disarray i of see course. and it was a beautiful house it also um i think like they traveled across the country so this oh, they is were like a band of traveling negroes pre alvin ailey and all like the greats that we think of now this mm -hmm. is like foundational to them that's amazing national negro opera company here at the Cardwell School of Music, this first national black opera company was founded in 1941 by Mary Cardwell Dawson. Noted for its musical genius, it performed for 21 years in Pittsburgh, Washington, New York, and other cities. Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission. They should restore it, make it a museum or something. There have been initiatives, and apparently there hasn't been enough interest to get people to invest. I never heard of this before you just told me. Dirty faces, and you be like, "Who are these people? Like, who are these people? What is this? What is this shit? What is this shit supposed to fucking be, bro? Like, nah. I know Pittsburgh, and I know Philly too. Like, I'm not gonna say I know like all of fucking Pennsylvania, rural Pennsylvania, and shit like that. But you're not about to go to fucking Pittsburgh and be like, yeah, steel, steel miner town, middle America, and not show any fucking niggas." I will not stand for it. Not Pittsburgh. I spend too much time in Pittsburgh to fucking allow that shit to fucking pass. That's just not gonna fly with me. They don't have a stop sign. 